In view, we have the ability to bind dynamic state to mark up within the template to make the application more dynamic. For example, you may want to apply a class to an element only if a certain condition is true or a certain piece of state to an attribute, such as a source on an image. But did you know you could also apply component state to a CSS property directly in the style tag? The style tag supports what is called the vbind CSS function, allowing for dynamic CSS property values. Let's take a closer look. Now here inside of a view project, I have a component being imported into the app.view file called simple rectangle. And you can see that component being displayed here inside of the browser. Now if we take a look at this component, it's quite simple. We just have a div of the class of rectangle, and then we have some base styles here to create this rectangle. So let's take a look at how we can apply some dynamic CSS property values to this component. So first off, what we wanna do is within our script tag, we want to create a new variable and we'll call this color and we'll set this equal to a string with a value of blue. Now, inside of our style tag, we can use this variable of color and we can assign it to the background color property here. So instead of having a static value of red, we're going to use the vbind function and then we can pass in our color and if we save this, as you can see now, the rectangle is gonna be updated to blue because that's a value of our variable. And if we change this to something like green, it's going to update as well. The actual value of the property will be compiled into a hash CSS custom property, so the CSS is still going to be static. The custom property will be applied to the component's root element via inline styles and reactively update it if the source value changes. With that in mind, let's take a look at a reactive example. And for this, we're gonna be doing some two-way binding with an input and then our variable here of color. So when the input changes, it'll update the value of this variable of color and then it's going to update the background color. So for this, let's create a new input and we wanna use a V model to do the two-way binding and we're also gonna use a lazy modifier on this. So that way it only updates the value of the variable when we leave the input. So then we'll set this equal to our color variable and we wanna make this variable reactive and to do this, we're gonna be using what is called a ref. So we'll define this and then we want to take this value of green and store it inside of the ref and then we just wanna import this into our uh, script here. So we'll say import ref and this will be from view, okay? So now if we update this input here to something like orange, let's type that right, you can see when we leave, now the background color is going to be orange and if we change this to something like red, it'll now be updated to red in real time. Now the vbind function also works with props. So for example, if we wanted to control the size of the rectangle with props from the parent, we can do so. So first off, let's define some props here using the define props macro, and we'll define our props as an object. So first off, we're gonna have a height prop, which will also be an object, and we'll define the type to be a string, and we'll give it a default value, and we'll say 100 pixels. And we want to do the same thing for the width. So we'll just copy this down and we'll change the value or the name of this prop to width. And then we'll give it a default value of 200 pixels. All right. So then we want to hook up these props to our CSS. So we'll remove the height and then we'll add the vbind function. And then we'll use our height prop. And then the same thing for the width, we'll say vbind, and then we'll do the width. So if we save that and then we do a refresh, you can see everything still is going to work as it should. Now, if we head over to the app.view and we define our prop, so we'll say height, and we'll set this to, let's do maybe 50 pixels, and then let's do a width here, and we'll set this equal to, let's do 150 pixels. You can see we're now gonna be able to control this with props from the parent. If you want to see a great practical example of how we can use this, be sure to check out the video where we create a skeleton loader component. We use the vbind CSS function to create dynamic skeleton loader layouts. Anyways, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Hopefully you were able to learn something new and can now use this vbind CSS function within your view applications. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.